Oh, there's my bed. It's been a month since a fire destroyed everything John Walters worked so hard for. His house, his paintings, and his best friend Jake, all taken from him. Tugs on your heartstrings. I mean, it, I had coffee this morning, and um, you can't help but stand up and bring your coffee and walk outside or stand by the door and just, just stare at it. That's John now lives three blocks from here, but he comes back on a daily basis and searches through the debris, hoping to find anything that survived the fire. Now, there are actual emotional issues that, that go on, so you've got to deal with all of that while you're trying to rebuild, and you've got to rebuild right away. Now, starting from scratch, John has a new home and a studio with a view of the city and an address still reading Front Street. But I felt an obligation to, to my city, being Georgetown, where I live now, that um, I wouldn't be much of a man if I left, uh, left the city and... At a, at a moment when she needed me and others like me to help rebuild. John says the outpouring of support from the community and the donations of art supplies helped him get back to doing what he loves, telling his story through art. Okay, here we go, and I picked up a can and I went to open it and I realized I didn't have a screwdriver. So it's those things that, that need to be in order before you can progress. John says some days are more difficult than others, but it's the days that he thinks about Jake that are the hardest. It's okay. I, I've, I've been hurt a little, but I've seen people find the beauty in themselves in expressing love and, and kindness. So I think it's a good thing. John hopes this tragedy brings positive energy and more people to the town that he calls a hidden gem. In Georgetown, Courtney Griffin, WPDE News Channel 15.